Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is user acceptance testing simplified. No matter what methodology that you choose for the development of your application, there has to be a testing phase. This is usually done through the software development lifecycle. The testing phase is done to make sure there's a minimal amount of bugs in your application. One part of the testing phase is acceptance testing. This video will talk about what is user acceptance testing and what are different parts of user acceptance testing. What is acceptance testing? Early in a software development lifecycle process, the business owners or product owners meet and discuss requirements for the application that's going to be developed. After the completion of system and end-to-end -end testing is done by the testing team, the application is then given to the stakeholders, customer, business, and product owner to analyze and sign off on. They then test their initial requirements that they said before anything was developed against how the application is today. They then check and make sure that everything that they said was in requirements is actually fulfilled in a final product. They also test how the application meets the business goals as well as other rules and regulations. This phase of testing will be done in a production-like environment. The production-like environment is the closest thing to actual production. This is sometimes called the staging environment, the sandbox environment, or UAT environment. The test in this phase may have been already covered under the system testing by the original testing team but the product owners and business owners doing this testing themselves gives themselves an extra level of reassurance and confidence before fully releasing the product to the end users. Any bugs or problems found in this phase of testing should be given the highest priority and communicated right away. And now finally, the different types of acceptance testing. First, alpha and beta testing. Alpha testing is done to test any obvious defects and is done internally. Beta is external testing and it's usually done in a customer environment and it's the last form of testing before something being released. Next, contract testing. Contract testing is done against predefined criteria or discussed in a contract before any testing is done. So before any testing is even thought about, a contract is signed saying we're testing for these different requirements and criteria. Then once the contract is drawn up, the application is developed and now it's testing to meet that criteria again. Regulation testing. Testing that the application complies with government and legal regulations. This is also known as compliance testing. And finally, operational testing. Operational testing is testing that the backup flows, including the backup plans, any user manuals, security checks, and maintenance processes are in place to allow the application to be used. And that wraps up all different types of user acceptance testing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please take care. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.